Good day. For today's video, we are going to discuss Quarter 4, Physical Education 10 Cheer Dance, Cheer Stunts and Cheerleading Moves Introduction Chants and cheers are essential parts of cheerleading as they get the crowd excited, motivate your team, and get the crowd involved in the game. For example, if your team is losing, you can do a cheer or chant to boost the player's spirit and help motivate them to a victory. There are different cheers and chants out there for various occasions and sports. For example, there are specific cheers and chants for football, basketball, and wrestling. Remember, the fundamentals for doing cheers and chants apply to all sports. Difference between cheer and chant. Chant. A chant is usually very short, and you repeat it three or more times. Cheer. A cheer is longer than a chant is done only one time through. Impact of chant and cheer. Cheers and chants, especially aggressive and loud ones, can influence the game significantly. They have positive influence on the team's performance. That's why the home advantage has such significance. Teams get a lot more fan support when they play in their home country or city. Therefore, receiving support from their fans can have positive effects on a team's morale, and being jeered or booed can negatively affect players' psyche. To give impact to chanting and cheering, the following should be considered. Number 1. Signs. Number 2. Props. Number 3. Flags. Number 4. Megaphones. Number 5. Adding choreography skills. Formation changes, level changes and ripples. Types of cheers and chants. Number 1. Offense. An offense chant is one that talks about scoring and is used in a sporting event. You use this type of chant when your team has the ball. Here is a sample offense chant. We've got the ball. We've got the ball. Let's score six. Video number one. Offense chant. Number 2. Defense. A defense chant is one that talks about taking the ball away from the other team. You use this chant when your team does not have the ball. Here is a defense chant example. T. A. K. E. Take that ball away. Video number 2. Defense chant. Number 3. Spirit, General Chant. The spirit or general chant is one you can use anytime. These chants include general motivation and team spirit. Here is a spirit chant example. Let's go Bears. Video number 3. Spirit, General Chant. For individual stunts, we have cheer jumps, and under this category we do have letter A pencil jump. Straighten your legs as you push into the air for a basic pencil jump. Extend your legs and launch yourself off the ground to jump. Keep your legs glued together and your knees straight, pointing your toes in the air. Swing your straight arms into a T position as you jump. Video number 4. Pencil jump. Letter B tuck jump. Bring your knees up to your chest. Do not kick your legs behind you. 
The best way to feel what a proper tuck jump is like is to practice on the ground as shown in the photos below. Keep your knees together, keep your back straight. Land with your feet together. Video number 5. Tuck jump. Letter C spread eagle. Your legs are apart with your knees facing forward, compared to the toe touch, when your knees are facing up. Keep your legs directly beside you. Your toes should be pointed toward the ground. Your arms are in a high, V, motion. Keep your back straight, and head up, do not lean forward. Land with your feet together. Video number 6. Spread Eagle. Letter D hurdler. Arms are in a high touchdown motion. Point your toes. Land with your feet together. This jump is usually performed with the cheerleader positioned on an angle so you can see the jump. Video number 7. Hurdler. Letter E Pike Jump. Keep your legs together and reach for your toes. Point your toes. Bring your legs up to your arms, do not reach down for them. The goal is to reach past your toes. Land with your feet together. Video number 8. Pike Jump. Letter F Toe Touch. Keep your head and chest up. Bring your legs up to you. Reach for your heels, not your toes. Land with your feet together. Video number 9. Toe Touch. Next category we have the floor stunts. Floor stunts include letter A cartwheel. To start your lunge, put your dominant leg in front and bend it slightly. Your back leg should be straight. Your arms should be straight above your head, near your ears. Put your hands on the ground with your hands turned 90 degrees. Kick your feet over your head one at a time. The foot that kicks first should land first. Land in a lunge facing the opposite direction you started from. Your arms should be over your head near your ears. Your front leg should be slightly bent, and your back leg should be straight. Video number 10. Cartwheel. Letter B Forward Roll. Place your feet together and bend your knees so that you're squatting. Place your hands on the ground in front of you with your elbows bent. Your hands should be evenly spaced at shoulder width. Be sure to tuck in your chin. As you move into the roll, you don't want to place weight on your neck. It should move directly onto your upper back. Push over onto your upper back so that your body rolls forward and your hips are pushed over your head. Follow the curve of your spine as you roll. Keep your back curved and keep your hands in position. Throughout the roll, your legs should stay straight and your toes pointed. Bend your legs only at the end of the roll when it's time to stand up. Video number 11. Forward roll.
Cheer stunts for beginners. Number 1. Pony sit stunt. Make sure your base has their arms locked at all times, and head up. The flyer should sit on the lower part of the base's back. If you sit too high, you could hurt your base. The spotter should hold the flyer at her waist at all times. The spotter should help the flyer get up and dismount. Video number 12. Pony sit stunt. Number 2. Double thigh. Stand make sure your bases have deep lunges for the flyer to stand on. Make sure the flyer steps in the pockets of the bases, not on their legs. The flyer should start with her right foot first and climb using the step, lock, tighten method. Have the base hold the flyer's legs by wrapping their arms around the flyer's knees. Video number 13. Double thigh. Number 3. Hanging Stag. Make sure the flyer keeps her arms tight in the T motion. Make sure the bases keep their arms in a high touchdown motion. Video number 14. Hanging Stag. Number 4. L-Sit and L-Stand. Make sure the base does a deep side lunge for the flyer to sit on. Make sure the flyer points her toes, and the base catches her leg on her calf or ankle. Video number 15. L-Stand. Number 5. Shoulder sit. The base should always hold the thighs of the flyer until the back spot calls for the release. The base should always hold the thighs of the flyer until the back spot calls for the release. Video number 16. Shoulder sit. I hope you learned something in our lesson for today. See you again in our next video. Thank you for listening.